Why am I- am I in the pod? What? <laughs> I didn't see this, I just saw somebody washing dishes for like a minute and I was like, oh hell yeah, did I get fucking tricked? Oh! Okay. I'm in the scary- I'm in the- I'm in the room. I'm in the scary room. I, uh... I got dishes to wash. I got a little mattress. You know, we can sleep. Isn't that nice? We can take a little rest! What do we have? Is that bread? Tell me about the protocol. Tell me about the washing dishes protocol. F to read. Welcome to your new home. We hope you're settling in easily. Let's begin by establishing your basic movement controls. Left shift is sprint. Left control is crouch. Space is jump. To interact with objects, use the following. LMB grab, rotate, scroll, push, pull, use, and I have a scanner. Your primary goal is to wash, dry, and deposit dishes in the hole in the center of the room. While it may sound simple, you must also survive while completing this task. Uh, okay. Uh, mastering the art of dishwashing involves understanding the sink, sponge, and dish itself. To wash a dish, simply place the dish and a sponge into a water source and gently rub them together. You'll receive dish tokens based on two factors. Dish cleanliness and dish dryness. The sum of these factors determine your payout. Certain materials are worth more than others, but the shape of the dish does not affect its value. Use your scanner to view the current and maximum value of a dish. One more very important note. The only way to save your progress is to sleep. And you can only sleep at night, so consider the risks you take and how far they'll set you back. I'm just a guy! And I like to clean a dish. Sick. Alright, we got water, babe! Alright, let's bring these dishes over to the sink and then wash these dishes inside the sink. Get them clean, let's be mean, let's be righteous, let's be clean. Get these dishes into the sink, let's use our brain cells to who think. Let's go use these dishes and water and have a great time. Let's put these cups in the sink. Let's clean these cups in the sink. Wash that lead away. Ooh, yeah, this is Grandma's fine china. <laughs> Fuck you, Grandma! What is this, plate radioactive? Awesome! Take a clean father. That's me. I'm your clean dad now. You like doing the dishes, Brendan? I do, and I want to know if that's weird. No, I fucking hate doing the dishes. You can talk to my wife. I put them off for as long as possible. I hate doing them. I do them a lot more now, but like, I... I fucking hate doing the dishes. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and lie. My number one worst task. I- out of anything, I will do anything in the house except for wash dishes. I fucking hate doing them. In a digital environment, it's fine though. You'd wash dishes in game but not in real life, 100% yeah. I fucking hate doing them. Now, let me- let me be real with you. If they put a hole in the middle of my kitchen where I could throw the dishes into after I'm done with them, absolutely I would wash dishes every fucking day, right? I would wash dishes every goddamn day. Um, if I had a hole to put the dishes into. Yeah, we're doing dishes in the Paris catacombs. You can literally hear the sound of them going, Ha oh, ha he took the bread! Ha oh, ha Look at this little freak! Ha oh, ha ha! He has the bread in the elevator! Oh, ha ha ha! We're gonna be like those, what are those little, um, snails that you can get? For, like, an aquarium? That eat filth? Like, they eat the fish filth? What are those called? The bottom feeder? We're gonna be a bottom feeder! Hi, I'm Brent Daniel, and I'm a bottom feeder. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say things like this. I should be better than that. But hi, I'm Bryn Daniel, and I just- I filter feed right off the bottom of the goddamn aquarium. Like, you're gonna have to put up with me. Put me in your little fish tank. Uh, what do you got, a koi? You got a goldfish? Put me in there. I'm a bottom feeder. I'm gonna feed from the bottom. Most people get catfish suckers to clean tanks. Ah, oh, I see. I'm not a fish head. I'm not an aquarium boy. I live in a little glass tube, but like... That ain't my life, you know? I'm slurping up that algae. I'm eating all that grime. Bull gold! Fuck yeah, we're good. Fuck yeah, dude. We got a gold bowl. We love our gold bowl. Put your money in here. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to church. Hope you all had a great day. Great Saturday and Friday. Welcome to Sunday service. Now, first up, before we start, credit cards and debit cards. Hand them over. Credit cards and debit cards. Hand them over. Credit cards. And, credit cards and debit cards. Hand them over. Credit cards and debit cards. Hand them over. Credit cards and debit cards. Credit cards and debit cards. Hand them over. Credit cards. Credit cards and debit cards. Hand them over. All right. All right. All right. Awesome. 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 Thank you for all your credit cards and debit cards. Um, now, uh, Pastor Jimothy will be right out with you in just a moment. Before, But before he does, I'm going to input each and every one of your debit cards and credit cards into my phone on uh, Fortnite on my phone. And then I'm going to buy, uh, I don't know, what do you think? 100 V-Bucks? 200 V-Bucks? What if I buy 100,000 V-Bucks on each and every single one of your credit and debit cards, huh? I'm going to max them out. Let me check this. This this had the things I needed, right? 
push use, push and pull and rotate. There's not like a throw button, which is sad. I feel like there needs to be a throw. Yeah, I lost- I, I had a ball over here. It's gone now, though. Uh... What if I jump into the fucking hole? Have a great time. Hold drop? Oh, is it hold drop? We can try. Oh, I ate it! There's not really a drop button. You hold it with your- you can toggle it, I think. I can just pick it up and toss it. I'm just playing- oh no! Not into the hole! I'm gonna get in trouble. I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> oh no. That's a good sound. That's me when I throw fruit against the wall. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh! This is a problem, you can't put me in a room like this, because I'll make my own fun, damn it. It's dangerously close to the hole. They're not gonna like it when I put a lemon in the hole, are they? I'm gonna make combustible lemons! Fruit doesn't sound like that? Yeah, it does. It's really hard. It's hard, wet fruit. Don't worry about it. That food is holebound? No, it's not. We're just having a great time. You never buy a bunch of rotten fruit? Your grandparents never took you on, like, a, a grocery store trip where you buy a bunch of rotten fruit and you just start tossing it at the walls? You've been eating wax fruit. Oh, my belly is full of scentsy wax. This is crazy. I don't want to go back into the depths. It's a church. It scares me. I got a gold bowl. We're fine. All right, almost sleepy time. This is a very durable lemon. I'm proud of this lemon. I'm having a great time with it. You never bought overripe bananas for banana bread? No, you buy normal bananas and let them sit out and put them in your freezer and then forget about them. That's the normal thing. Nobody goes and buys overripe bananas on purpose. You buy bananas. You put them in the freezer when they get overripe, and then you forget about them. And then you do that every time you buy bananas, and- Oh, hey, the ball. I don't want this. You can have this. I'm going to sleep. I don't even want the ball. You can have it. Hey, boo-boo. Why not give me those reports? What am I, Yogi Bear office worker? Hey, boo-boo. Come and bring me those quarterly reports. The Johnson account needs to be done by Friday. Like, what- <laughs> What is the situation here? Hey, boo-boo, looking like a picnic basket. Just kidding, boo-boo. These are taxes. Fill them out. You're an accountant now. Yogi, I don't have any ink in my pen. Oh, just go to the office, Max. Hey, boo-boo, better open up those security room doors. Yogi, I can't do that. You're gonna jump scare me again. Oh, boo-boo, I'm fine and normal. I would never do that to you. Yogi... Five nights at Yogi Bears. Five nights at Hanna Barbera actually would be a uh, that's a that's a neat idea for a fan game. I mean, I hate FNAF, but like that'd be a neat idea, I think, for a fan game. Five nights at Hanna Barbera, and then like they do all the Hanna Barbera shit, like the noises and stuff, do all like the sound effects. Damn, bitches really do live like this. This really is how this really is how dudes live. I'm telling you straight up, this really is just how dudes live. Five Nights at Yogi's exists? Yeah, but I don't want Five Nights at Yogi's. I want Five Nights at Hanna Barbera. Because imagine putting El Cabong in that son of a bitch, right? And then he hits you with a guitar. But like he jump scares at you. And then it plays classical gas. I hear- Oh, why? Okay, there's things in here. Okay, good to know. Oh, good. Big spider. Oh, joy. I cornered myself. I cornered myself. I gotta fucking go. How do I get out of here? Where to go? Where to go? I lost it. Oh, good. I peeped a little bit of horror. Uh, I'm lost, aren't I? Well, so silly, aren't you, Brendan? You're feeling silly now, aren't you? I'm feeling incredibly silly now. I can't wrap around, can I? Yeah, I can't whip a shitty around here. I have to go through the spider. I have to go through the creature. I have to. I have to go through the creature. I'm lost. I didn't make a little map in my head. I gotta move. Maze Master Booty shaking, wiggle around like a wiggly baby. Maze Master Booty shaking. No, I just... I just walked around in a circle, didn't I? No, I've been here before. Go this way. Oh, God. OH, GOD! I'm going the wrong way. I have no... I have no depth perception. I'm like a little baby. Why would you follow me? Why would you go this way? Don't come this way. Don't come for me. Whatever you are, creature. Hello, creature. Hello, creature. Fuck off, creature. I need that shit, creature. I've seen you three times now, creature. I'm no longer afraid of you. I'm no longer afraid of you, creature. I have no fear of you, creature. You do not scare me. I've already encountered you now. Now that I've seen you and absorbed your essence into my brain, I no longer need to be afraid of you. 
Me pointing at the screen, yelling, I'm not afraid of you. Keep on moving, keep on running, running around like a crazy guy. Keep on running directly into the hole and then do it all over again. Ponder this, I'll ponder your ass. We shall reconnect soon. Okay, the eye. I love you, the eye. This is so realistic. We are scrubbing, we are dubbing. Call this shit a scrub dub. Put me in the dishwasher battle royale. I'll get second place. I'm not gonna get the scrub a dub dub. That'd be a good <laughs> dishwasher battle royale, but the like the bit and the only reason it gets made is because <laughs> because when you get a victory, it's called a scrub a dub dub. I <laughs> getting the scrub a dub dub in dishwasher simulator. Get owned, idiot. Bubble royale. Get yourself a scrub a dub dub. Didn't they make foam stars? That's not really a battle royale. But they could call a win in foam stars or foamsters. They could call a win in Foam Stars a scrub a dub dub. They got foam in there. Clean your plate. See, I don't know how they leave all these dirty dishes, because when I was a kid, I'd lick my plate clean. And then I'd just put it back into the <laughs> I would just lick my plate clean and then I'm just gonna put it back into the cabinet. I wanna I wanna buy a bunch of those pills that get larger in water that turn into a dinosaur and I can just start slopping them around. You can buy an industrial cleaner. Sweet. Finally, a drink for me, a drink for you. Building store, a shop to buy buildable structures. Item store, a shop, uh, time, skip day, skips day to night. Uh, internet. I want to go to the internet. Cool, awesome. Um, Bryn Daniel. There we go. Let's see. Here. Over here. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's pull up, uh, we got a video we can pull up here. Let me see here. Let's see, um... This one'll probably be good. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, I didn't mean to quit the GUI. I wanted to just leave it on. Okay, we can't just leave it on, it's fine. Kitty pool. Fishing! Buy that. Alright, what is this, the kitty pool? Sweet, we're gonna have to buy the fishing pool, uh, fishing rod. Sweet, we can fish in here. Awesome! Alright, let's try Gamba. Gamba! It's time for Gamba! Oh, hell yeah. Give me the jackpot instantly. Spin. Jackpot. I, I lost. I, I ran out of tokens. Shit. I just used all my tokens. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Um, I'm looking for stuff. Hello? Anybody hanging out here? Oh, cool bones. Oh, shit. Is that apple? Oh, shit. Gold plate. Anything in there? Ooh, what is it? Donut? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> me when I'm Homer, me when I'm Simpson. <laughs> oh, good, thank you. That's perfect. <laughs> hey! No money. Big money. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money! Okay, la my last five dish tokens, please. Big money, big money, big money, big money. <gasps> oh. Okay, that's fine. Hi. You're handsome. You drop your, uh... You drop your stuff? Okay. Hope you're not like a weeping angel. Now I'm in the sub- what is this, the subway? Boy, oh good. Good to know. Love, love, love me the subway. What are these boxes? Oh, there's nothing inside there. Of course. This is like a big store. Oh! Yeah. I love the shop. Hi, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the store. Hey, you got your rewards card with you? Hey, free donut, I'll take that. Hi, hey, how's it going? You got your rewards card with you? What is that? Chicken nugget? I love chicken nugget, thank you. Chicken nugget, awesome. We love eating. Uh, cup. We love cup, I love cup. So remember the store, Brendan. You were just at the store. You picking up a lemon? I'm gonna grab that for you. Here. Let me help you out here. Are we buying this? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I ate it in front of you. Ooh, ooh. Are you angry? Or, ooh, you're gonna be so mad about that, aren't you? Ooh, sorry about that. I ate that lemon you were gonna buy right in front of you. Oh, my. Oh, my. How horrible. What a bad thing. What a bad thing for me to do. What am I, a bad boy or something? <laughs> what a bad thing for a bad boy to do, huh? Oh, let's leave the funny, funky store. Oh, let's leave the scary subway store. I did go to, uh, when I was in Chicago, I think about it often, there was a little boba tea place, right? Um, and they had a giant, uh, tablet kiosk in front of them, and you didn't talk to the employees at all, you got boba from just going into the giant tablet kiosk, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. I liked that. 
sometimes I'm fine interacting with people for the most part. Like, 99% of the time, I'm fine interacting with people. I, I almost prefer interacting with a human, but sometimes every once in a while, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I just want to click the button and get the food. You know? I'm half and half. If Brendan sees another human, he screams and runs away. Not true. Not true. I interact with people all the time. I'm interacting with you right now. Well, you don't mean to interact with you out there in the chat. One more cup to clean. One more cup to clean. Let's get real mean. Let's clean this cup and one more cup to clean. I gotta clean the Arby's roast beefs, the roast beast slicer one time. Ah, uh, sorry. And then you had to say that you were going beast mode and then it sliced you. What happens if you don't sleep? I don't know and I'm too afraid. If there is a computer voice that yells sleep at me, I am inclined to listen to the computer voice. Somebody's like, do you live in fucking Whoville to the person who did the roast beast slicer? And it's like, yes, some people do. Some people genuinely do live in Whoville. What of it? Huh? Do you live in Whatville? Huh? What do you- I, Obviously, you live in Whyville. Whyville? You live in Whyville. You be asking so many fucking questions. They put you in the room with the white padded walls. Not yet in real life, but they, you know, they're, they're waiting for the court documents. <laughs> Change.org petition to put me in the white room. I'm gonna get the best padded cell. They're gonna bring me out during, uh, during lunch and I'm gonna entertain everybody else in the facility. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna tell so many fucking jokes. Everybody's gonna be fucking laughing. And then while they're laughing and busting a gun, I'm gonna make my great escape. I'm getting out of there. You can't hold me. These walls can't hold me. I'd be yelling in the facility. These walls can't hold me. I'd be yelling at every font I see. This font can't bold me. Oh god, I think I gamba. I think I gamba. I think I'm gonna get that big win today. Oh! 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 I won! I won! Oh! Oh! Do it again. Oh. Do it again. Banana? Oh. Oh, okay. I gotta go back into the- sorry, I gotta go back into the dishwasher cave again. Oh shit, I forgot! The gold plate's there! I'm blowing on it to make it dry faster. They should add a microphone function to this game where you can turn it on and you can blow into your microphone to make it dry faster! <laughs> I gotta- There we go. Who the fuck is whistling?! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no no! Fuck off! We gotta go, we gotta go. There's a whistle man in here, we gotta go. We gotta go, whatever that is, fuck that. Whatever that is, whatever that is, fuck that! Absolutely not! He's just a guy, Brendan. Yeah, but he's a guy who's whistling at me, you know how fucking- He was also radiating me, he was fucking going super hot at me. I don't wanna deal with the whistling man, why do they gotta do this to me? They throw the whistling man at me. Hey, check this out. Whistling man is the worst, Brendan? Oh, good. Yummy, yummy, whistling man. Well, I got a cup. Listen, man, if I hear somebody whistling in the deep dark, like, depths, I'm fucking scared, right? Are you not scared if somebody's, like, fucking... Aren't you scared? Do it. I didn't win. Oh. You need to stop! No, 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 no. You see, I have a foolproof plan, actually, is, um... I sit here. Um, I can throw this apple at the wall. That's pretty cool, right? Hey chat, welcome to the stream. I can, uh, welcome to, uh, we are bobbing for apples today. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Check this out. I got the apple. Okay. I dropped the apple. I got the apple. Check this out. I dropped the apple. Bobbing for one apple. We got- we make our own fun here. We make our own fun here. We make our own fun here. I got the apple. And then I drop the apple. I'm gonna grapple the apple. Brendan the computer? Brendan the computer. Brendan the computer. I'm not a computer. Why did you say Brendan the computer? Okay. How to get a girlfriend. Wait, no, one second. Bryn Daniel 2. What? Wait, wait a minute. What? Bryn Daniel what? What? Who the fuck has been sir? Sleep. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? What alligator? What? Brendan controversy reaction stream? I'm just like, what? <laughs> oh, it's those five people that I ate in 1997, huh? It's coming back to bite me. Something about Five Night at Freddy. It's because I killed two men. Is that just a normal thing? Like, do people like, okay, hey, I found this guy. I gotta see if there's anything, like, stinky in the closet. And it's like, that's, 
Oh, I don't know. Unless somebody's saying weird shit about me again. Then I, like, have no blood. Then my brain is bisected into 15 parts instead of just two. How oddly specific. Yeah, <laughs> Brain Daniel, yeah. Only thing I can find about other people named Brendan, or is your- is, are you or your Wikitubia page? I'm like, I don't- I love my wife. I'm like, what? Why? What? Unless somebody typed that in a bunch of times to make it the top search result, because I'm not, like, cool. I'm like, I love my wife. I, I like, I don't, I don't even, I, I rarely talk to people outside of streams anyway. Like, I'm like, what? Who the fuck? What? Some other Brendan from a year ago? What the shit? Is my name cursed, actually? Did I not know this? Is there another Brendaniel? It's somebody with, like, the legal name Brendaniel. Oh. Oh, you found, you found something on, oh, I see. No, it's just weird. I haven't done anything awful. I've been like a little bit of a dick before. Um, I made some videos that I'm not proud of, but I'm like, I don't... They, yeah, somebody just found out about Big Pizza and fucking hates it. You called me stupid? Yeah, I can be a little mean sometimes, but... That's such a weird fucking thing. What if I named my firstborn Brendaniel? Please don't let them commit any crimes. My brand! I googled it and got nothing, by the way. Well, yeah, because like, I don't... I'm like, I'm like, I do... What? Well, yeah, the serial murders, that's not big of a deal, right? That's bizarre. I think that's just a thing that you deal with with being on the internet, though. Everybody got some kind of weird shit hiding around out there. Cobwebbed up. I'm like, I don't know. I, th I think I'm a fucking weirdo, but like, that's about it. All right, we got to go to the goon caves again. Are they in the room with you now? The spirits of all the people I killed? Yeah, absolutely. But like, that's not that big of a deal, right? I looked up your name and the first result that wasn't for Mert. Merch was Brendaniel Big Pizza. Oh, good. We finally made it. The one joke that's not even really 100% my joke. These guys are standing awkward. You guys need to grow up a little bit. You should kill more people. I mean, maybe. I'm, I'll, I'll, th I'll think about it. I'll put it, on the, I'll put it on the docket later. We'll talk about it later at the Brendaniel Summit. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Brendaniel Conference. We'll have a talk about it. Interesting. Big storeroom. Interesting. Big apple. Just like New York. No, don't flip it. Oh! What? Okay. Can't wait for the Bren Fair. Yeah, the Renaissance Fair. Everybody going to the Renaissance Fair? We're gonna have big pieces of mutton. I'm gonna be in the dunk tank. You're gonna have to throw apples at me. Not that that's gonna dunk me. You just get to throw apples at me as hard as you can. Let's see if they hit me. It'll be funny, it'll be funny. It'll be funny when one of those apples hits me directly in the fucking head. It smashes up. I get a big bruise on my head. I get one of those big, like, like a huge bump. Hurl rotten fruit. Nah, fresh fruit, actually. Let's waste food. I want more food waste. Son of a bitch. Speaking of, I'm just eating this apple. More food waste, actually. Now. I'm hearing noises that I don't like. I'm hearing noises that I don't like. Imagine buying this because you really love washing dishes. Oh my god. Dude, I freaking love washing dishes. This is gonna be awesome. Like, somebody who works at a restaurant. You know how, like, a rest of Ron, somebody works at a rest- ah, ah! Sorry. Uh, my leg. Ah, it's caught in a bear trap. How'd you find out about this? I don't know. I saw another streamer playing it, and I was like- I saw, like, one minute of gameplay, and I was like, okay, sold. I just saw them washing dishes. I didn't see any of this part. Um, I basically saw another streamer playing it for, like, one minute, uh, earlier today. And I was like, sure, why not? Fuck it. Ah, uh, the classic bear trap blunder, eh, Brendan? I'm just scrolling around on Twitch, you know, because, like, I, I sometimes will go around on Twitch and see what, like, random streamers are playing. And I'll watch it for a minute just to see if it's, like, fun. Um, and if it doesn't look like fun, I'm not gonna fucking touch it. But if it looks like fun, I wanna touch it. I wanna play it. Is that an m, &M cookie? Oh, shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta do your gamer research. Well, I always appreciate it if a chat member's like, Hey, Brendan, here's a fucking weird game. Play this. It's like, I, I, I can only look so much. I miss things. Like, Draft of Darkness. I really like that. I thought you saw me recommend it. Now I only feel slightly as vindicated, Brendan. Parasocial friendship ended. Oh, I'm sorry. I check the recommendations, but, like, sometimes I forget they're there. I, you gotta, like, yell at me. Like, Brendan, play this. Brendan, play this. It always works out if you yell at the streamer. You gotta play this. You gotta play this. You gotta play this. You gotta play this. Right? Look at the streamer. Point at the streamer. Yell at the streamer. This is how it works. This is the better social relationship. We're gonna play Knights of the Old Republic. No. And that guy for 10 minutes. Already you gotta play yourself. Stop trying to- t Brendan, please play with yourself on stream. It'll be me with like a fucking- It's just gonna be me like- thumb, How do I thumb- I can't thumb war myself. I gotta- Oh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be- Oh. Uh -huh. Will I get banned for this? Will this happen? They're pushing. They're pushing. Who wins? What's your bets, Chad? What are your bets? Who will win? A whole compelling storytelling here on the stream. I'm playing with myself. Thumb war. One, two. Oh, he broke out. How did he do that? Oh, it's fixed. Oh, I see. Oh, let's see here. Let's see. 
Mm. Mm. They're sizing each other up. Mm. Let's see who will who will win here. Mm. One, two, nope, they broke out. One, two, whoa, one, two, whoa, one, two, whoa. Just, uh, ooh, suplex. One, two, three. Wow, there's thumb one. That's crazy. That's insane. Make them kiss, Brendan? No, I'm not going to make my thumbs kiss. Don't gamble, don't gamble, don't gamble. Don't gamble, don't gamble, don't gamble. Don't gamble, don't gamble, don't gamble, don't gamble. Don't gamble, don't gamble, don't gamble. Don't gamble, Brendan. Hold all your shit. No. 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 Save your money, save your money. No, no. Yes. I'm not looking. I lost. Gamba. I want $20! Don't gamba, Brendan. Come on. Come on! Get on. I win. Get on. Come on. Come on. We get my new sponge tomorrow. Sick. Soak your feet. Lose your seat. Hey, you don't even have to move your feet. Yeah, 90% of all gamblers quit right before they hit the big one. <laughs> Who are you? Some kind of streamer? No. I'm the big one. <laughs> Hey everybody, gonna be starting a new nickname. Um, this is my newsletter to start my new nickname. Please refer to me only as the big one. That's me, I'm the big one. You know the big one they're all talking about? I'm the big one. It's like, oh, I'm gonna win the big one. They're gonna win me. I'm the big one. <laughs> Don't type starts inflating. I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you, I'm gonna throw you into the percolator. Throwing you into the coffee machine. Wash your dishes, uh, be so smart. Wash your dishes, be so strong. Oh yes, I want to wash all my dishes. Cause they are nice and they will be clean. I feel like, you know what I feel like actually? You know what this reminds me of? Fucked up, but this reminds me of Alan Tutorial. Do you remember Alan Tutorial when the, like he was in the facility and they were having him do YouTube things? Today's tutorial is how uh, today's tutorial is how to get um, a half a donut wet. Uh, so you, you gotta take the half a donut. You gotta nope. You gotta pick up the half a. You gotta take the half a donut. You gotta pick up the. You gotta take the half a donut. You gotta pick up the half the donut. You gotta take the half a donut. You gotta pick it up and you gotta. Okay, today. Uh, shit. You gotta pick up the donut and you gotta put it in the water. You gotta soak it a little bit. And then there, there, there you go. Just simple as simple as that. We got the donut wet. Um, today we're going to be crushing a military bottle of water between two slats of wood. Oh, and then you just got to up, and then you just got to you just got to take it, and then you just got to you just got to up. Oh, you just got to up. You just got to take. You just got to take it. You just got to up. Oh, well, you just take the box. You just got to up. Oh, you just got to take the slats of wood, and you just got to up. Oh, press that can of Dr Pepper, just like that. Yes, is that a scrub father? It is a scrub father. Happy to see you, Scrub Father. Look at him. Scrub Father! Real! Getting scrubbed adular. My benefactors do not love me. My benefactors say, we fucking hate this guy. Give him apple again. Okay. Thank you, my beautiful benefactors, for the free apple. Gorgeous of you. Gor you're all gorgeous. My beautiful benefactors, I love you. Ooh, melon! My friend! This is it. This is precarious. For sure. I need this plate. I'm gonna eat you, melon friend. I'm sorry, melon friend. Wait, seeds, actually. I can grow melons later. In remembrance of my beautiful melon friend, we will be we will be growing melons later. Shit, stop falling out of my- f I need to buy a better box. I really do. Shit's falling out of my box, crazy style. Come on, don't fall- Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, beastie. Spider. Behind me! He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, there he is! Hello, nurse! Nope, fuck off! I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. Fucking spider, fucking spider! Oh god, no, I'm stuck in the hell room. Fucking spider, fucking spider! I gotta run past the spider. I gotta go past this son of a bitch. Come here, you dumb fuck. I gotta run, I gotta run past you, asshole. Fuck off. Keep fucking moving. What are you afraid of, a little cardboard box, huh? Fuck out of here. 
Oh, you took my fucking crate. You son of a bitch. Fuck off. Juked. I gotta go this way. Wait, my box still? Oh, a fucking bastard. Oh, to stop being in my path. Bastard. Fucker. Dishes? Dish, dishwish? Dishwish? I heard that. Dishwish? Wet t-shirt contest? What? What are you talking about? I, I swear to fucking God, somebody said wet t-shirt contest out there. I was fucking, what? Stop being horny on main, Brandon. No, I'm just talking about the wet t-shirt contest. What do you mean? Horny on main. What? Don't you know about it? You don't even know about the wet t-shirt contest. You're so silly. Everybody laugh at Adamus for being here late to the stream and not knowing what the wet t-shirt contest. You don't even know, dude. You don't even know. Yeah, what do the voices mean by this? Was that like a Rorschach test with noises? Brandon living like her average gamer girl? Ghoul? <laughs> Ugh. I'm just a simple gamer ghoul. What do the voices mean by this? Anyway. Oh, uh, so yeah, anyway, it's 7.20. Time for the wet t-shirt contest. Woo! Woo! You can't see it, sorry. Woo! You can't- Woo! You can't see it. Alright, that's done. Um, now it's 7.31. Time for- Time, uh, Bob for Apple again. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Yum. Oh. Mmm. Yum. Mm. I can imagine eating this apple. Wash your fruit. It's gonna be like when, uh, you know when a raccoon gets, like, food and they have to clean it? That's me with this apple. Isn't it so sad? Have you ever seen those videos where they have a raccoon and, um, they give it cotton candy and it cleans the cotton candy? But then, uh, sorry, I gotta wash my ball. They give the raccoon cotton candy and it tries to wash the food. And then it just... disappears in the water. I washed my ball. I washed it. Mmm. Bed rotting. Uh, get out of bed. No more bed rotting. Okay, girly pop. Get out of bed. No more bed rotting. But the point of bed rotting is to not get up. Get out of your freaking bed. Come on. You could walk to the wall and point at the wall and say, Oh, plaster! That's something. Come on now. Get up out of your bed right now. Stop bed rotting, girly pop. Get out of your bed. Walk up to the wall and yell, Plaster! In your apartment complex. Yeah, I'm just an apple core eating clean cell. This is true. A couple of things I love. Beam attacks. Cleaning. Um, and rotten apple cores. I eat five apple cores a day to maintain peak vitality. Into the pit! This is just a horror game for Esmond Gold. <laughs> it's a horror game for me. I fucking hate washing the dishes. But I like doing it in video game form. Interesting. This says something about society. Right, can we get a, buy a live, laugh, love sign for this place? Can I? Uh, miscellaneous. I can buy a slot machine. I can buy food. Um, furniture. I could buy a lamp. Do you like a lamp? I could buy a desk for a dollar. Ain't that something? We can put the computer on a desk, finally. Yeah! Wood! 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 See, now the computer has a... There's a thing for here. Uh, we can also grab these books and place these here. We can put a stag... We can, we can you know, today can be a fix a fixer-upper day. You know? Today could be an awesome day, actually. An awesome day for awesome shit. You gotta get that fishing rod. True... But also, if I get the dish spawner, I can have infinite money. Infinite dishes means infinite money, babe. Ready, Google jelking on the chamber computer. I'm not Googling jelking on the computer! Ready, look up, uh, look up crystals. Ready, look up foreskin crystals on the- on the computer in there. I'm not looking up foreskin cr crystals. I- I don't like this. What is happening? Uh, hello? I'm a human, I'm a human. I'm a human, I'm a human, I'm a human. I got a little scared there. I'm a human, 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 and I'm coming. I'm a human and I'm coming, 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 I'm a human, I'm a human, and I'm coming! You know when there was that New Jersey earthquake, right? Do you think that somebody was like in the process of soaking, but their friend like just texted them while they were like prepping for it, like, hey, can't make it? Can we do a jelking festival? And then the earthquake happened, and it's like for a brief, like blissful three seconds, God was allowing them to soak. So it like, it like establishes their faith even further because God wanted them to soak. Okay, well, I guess we're waiting for the timer to go down because there was a scary thing down in the depths and we did everything we can, so. Bobbing for apple. Got it. That's one point. Got it. Two points. Aw, oh, chat, can I do it? Can I do it? Three points. You know what? It would be fucked up. If you went to like a, what if you went to a friend's like slumber party, right? And they were like, okay, we're bobbing. Oh, what are we bobbing? Chicken nugget. What? Yeah, we have the one chicken nugget. We're bobbing for it. One chicken nugget. Two chicken nugget. Three chicken nugget. 
Imagine putting your face in like a, a kiddie pool filled with chicken nuggets, right? A film of chicken nuggets all over the top of the kiddie pool, right? And it's like, okay, dive in. Jump in, babe. Dive in. It's for you! Your chicken pool. Dive in. It'll be great! Come on! Thomas is a manager at McDonald's, so he got these all for cheap. Dive in. Bob for chicken nuggets. Jump in. Relax. Take your shoes off. Stay a while. Dive in. Get the chicken nuggets. Enjoy. The filth is for you. It's your filthy broth bath. Enjoy. Don't have too much fun. If a dad at a slumber party is like that, I'm going to have to leave. I'm going to have to leave. I'm going to have to get out of here. Never should have come here. I feel, yeah, feel the rotting warmth of the chicken nugget field. A lot of wet chicken nuggets. Feel the rotting warmth of the chicken nuggets in the pool. Enjoy the rotting warmth. Stay a while and listen in, 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 to the nuggets. I put chicken nuggets. Dude, really cool, really cool gag product, actually. Really amazing gag product, all right? We're in a world of technological advances, right? World of technological advances. The world is your yoyster, okay? Stick with me here. This is my elevator pitch, all right? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is my elevator pitch, okay? Tell me if you'd buy this or not. Imagine you go to like a five below, not even a five below, you go to the Walmart and you're looking in the earbud section and there's a new pair of earbuds. The, they're like uh, skull candies or something. They're just like fine earbuds and you need a pair of earbuds, right? They're like 20 bucks. But the case for the earbuds, chicken nugget. You crack them open, boom, earbuds right there. They're also little chicken nuggets. Would you invest? Would you... Brenvest, hello sharks. Let me tell you about chicken nugget headphones. Would you buy them? They probably already exist. One second. Let me Google it. Let me do a little bit of a hot Googling here. Chicken nugget AirPod case. It already exists, son of a bitch. It's already out there. This is so bullshit. But but they're for the AirPods. Mine are also the earbuds. And they're crispy. Brendan, I hate chicken nugget. They taste like cooked gruel. That's fine. If you don't like them, that's fine. Everybody has their own food preferences. That's fine. I walk out on stage. Hello, sharts. And then they deny me their investment. Are the earbuds meat or plastic? Plastic. But the case is meat. And they mail you a brand new case every single day. So imagine, really with this, you don't even know. You're buying it. You're get chicken nuggets for life. One nugget every single day. Would you, okay. Would you rather have 100 chicken nuggets right in front of you? Or one chicken nugget. This is an incredibly important question, actually. I'm going to go full screen for this. This is this is incredibly important. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make a new scene. Actually, call it camera scene. Hello, sharks. Uh, imagine this. Picture this. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> nope, I remember now. Okay. Let me ask you something, Chad. Let me, let me throw something at you. Would you rather have 100 chicken nuggets right there, brand and fresh in front of you, right? Would you rather have 100 chicken nuggets... Fresh as a daisy right there, like made to order, all your dipping sauces and everything, 100 chicken nuggets right there, or would you rather have one fresh chicken nugget mailed to you every day for the rest of your life? But it's one singular chicken nugget, and remember, the food is going to get old. Mailed to you, when it, when it arrives, you have to A, get it from the post office box, you have to get it from the post box, you have to get it from the mailbox, and B, it is fresh when you open it. The delivery is always at 1 p.m. It is warm and fresh and ready when you open it because of mystic technology. But it arrives at 1 p.m. And it will grow cold after it's been delivered. It's fresh when it gets there. Makes you think, see, a lot of people want the instant gratification. What if I'm not home during 1 p.m.? It just, it no longer freshens itself. Are they in an envelope? They're in an envelope from Chicken Nugget Incorporated. And also no sauce. But you could, prospectively, what you could do is you could freeze them. A lot of people want the 100 nuggets, which are, like, hot and ready. But think about this. You freeze them, and then every single day, after, like, a month, you got 30 chicken nuggets just basting in the freezer, right? What happens if you go on vacation? They do build up. They will build up and explode out of the mail. So you'd have, like, well, I mean, if you're, if you're gone for, like, 30 days, that's, like, 30 chicken nuggets in envelopes. So, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people would take the 100. But, like, you'd have to come up with a good system. For the one every day. Because that's 365 chicken nuggets a day, right? That's 365. So, like, you're going to get more chicken nuggets. Do they still arrive on Sundays? Every day. One chicken nugget every day for the rest of your life. They arrive in the mailbox at 1 p.m. Local time. 
But yeah, I mean, the downside is if you ever leave for anywhere, if you ever leave anywhere for an extended period of time. No, you know what? I think to make this better is they find you. They find you. Whatever bed you're sleeping in is they have that address yeah. and they put it there for the mail. Thank yeah. you, Duckpacker, for the prime sub. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta fix this. I just set this up so I gotta add the alert, alert box to this. But yeah, they find you. The chicken nugget agents find you. Yeah, it's like it follows, but it's a delivery man with one chicken nugget. Think about it. Think about it. I don't know. Yeah, it's under your pillow like a mint. Yeah, <laughs> it's the chicken nugget fairy. It's always under your pillow, wherever you are. Would be a lot better, honestly. Thinking about it. Thinking about the chicken nugget. Thinking about this conundrum. The chicken nugget conundrum. Interesting. I'm curious about it. Taking a one a day for the situations it can create. Yeah, you hang out with somebody. You have a one night stand with somebody. You wake up. Oh, you want to split this chicken nugget with me? What was that? Under my pillow. What? Don't bite me. Be else. Rude. What are you doing? You're attacking me. You're going to fight me? You want to fight? She's goobling. You're fucking goobble. Goobling crazy style. She's going crazy. Imagine getting married and then having to explain to your wife and in-laws about how you have structured your life around the 1 p.m. chicken nugget deliveries. True. And what happens if you die? Do they keep coming? Like, what if they keep coming? What if they start, like, filling up in your casket? How fucked up is that? Imagine them slowly filling up in your casket and then bursting your casket open. Somebody's, like, walking past the graveyard like, what's that fucking stench? It's all chicken nuggets. It's been, like, a year since you've died. It's been, like, ten years since you've died, right? And you're in a casket. And it's like, oh, what's that stench? And it's like, oh, we know what that stench is. Chicken nuggets. All in the ground. What is happening? What happens if you get cremated, right? What if you get cremated? Are they going to deliver, like, a particle of a chicken nugget to every particle of your ashes? Fill your casket to bursting? Open up grandma's urn. Why? There's chicken nuggets in there. What? Your casket becomes nice and big and round. Imagine this, though. All right, you die and the apocalypse happens, right? And, like, the chicken nuggets are locked directly to your skull. And so thousands of years pass, right? Or, like, a hundred years pass, and there's, like, a mountain of rotting chicken nuggets somewhere out in the fetid apocalyptic field, right? And somebody finds your skull at the bottom of it. They dig through all the, like, rotten fossilized meat, right? They find your skull. They bring it with them because they think your skull is looking very pretty, mighty pretty for them, right? And then they find the chicken nugget under the skull. Imagine if your head becomes an apocalyptic rare item. It's a rare item in an apocalyptic TTRPG. The head that summons one chicken nugget a day. You'd be a saint. You'd be able to feed so much people. So many people would be able to feed off of you. It'd be awesome. All right, time to drop the plate into the hole. Wait, so it keeps spawning nuggets after death? It keeps spawning nuggets after death. Where your brain would be? Yeah, where my brain would be, the cavity has a singular unrotted chicken nugget. It's the god. It's the god chicken nugget. It's the progenitor. Loathsome nugget eaters. I'm taking the one nugget deal. Yeah, see, just for the funny. Just for the hilarity of it. I mean, the 100 chicken nuggets would be fine, but like the the yeah. one is just, it's just, a, yeah. it's just powerful. Better not be the flesh spider around here, I swear to freaking God. If there's a flesh spider around here, I'm going to freak the fuck out. If there's a guy around here trying to fucking rip my entrails out and make a little jump rope out of them, I'm going to freak the fuck out, dude. Don't you dare fucking kill me. Don't you dare kill me, you dang bastard. Chad, I'm trying to say fuck less. How am I doing? Awful? I know. Somebody commented on like a Brendan Angel 2 video recently and they said, Brendan, Brendan says fuck a lot. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. It's a very powerful word. I like it. I know it has no power coming from me because I used it too much, but it's a very cool word. I like it a lot. The mummy doesn't like you stealing his stuff, Brendan. Well, the mummy can find a daddy. That daddy can unwrap that mummy like a little sausage guy. Get to that dried meat on the inside. There we go. We're, we're good. We're thongular. Think about how the United States government was directly responsible for stuffed crust pizza and then come back to me. Because dairy farmers were like, we made too much. Dad, we made too much. Can you do something for us? Yeah, did you not know that the United States government actually is directly responsible for stuffed crust pizza because dairy farmers were overproducing milk and dairy products? So the United States government was like, okay, uh, we're going to go to different restaurants and like ask them, hey, um, can you do something with all this cheese we have? Like they literally had a summit. The United States government is directly responsible for stuffed crust pizza. Yeah, we're out of here. I don't have anything to confess, father. I have no sins, bitch. I am sinless. I, I literally drink holy water every night before I go to bed and piss it out. Then it's devil water. You know? And I'm out of here. I hate this church. Bye. Those are crematories? I don't know what that is. I'm not a church guy. What do you mean crematories? Do they make cream in there? That's where they make the cream? The church cream? You're telling me they got church cream? Those are crematories, Brendan. Where they make the church cream? That's insane. They burn the body. Oh, that's where they make the church cream. Church cream is made of people? Wait a minute here. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Church cream is not made of people. Yeah, crematorium, where they make the cream. Why would you drink holy water? It's just water mixed with oil. 
Yummy. I don't know. But what if it yummy? They should make church cream there. See? Somebody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Mm, delicious oil. Yummy, yummy oil. Don't talk to me before I've had my daily allowance of oil. Come on now. You ever drink holy water because you get less water per water because of all the holes? Oh, true, actually. Gamble! Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. It's never worth it. Gamble. Don't look. Gamble. It's never worth it. It's always worth it. It's never worth it. It's always worth it. It's never worth it. It's always worth it. Same outcome three times in a row. Great luck, see? I'll get a win. I'll get a win. Dad's gonna get a win one of these days, I swear to God. They're gonna let me out of the facility one of these days. Dad's gotta get a win. <laughs> Listen, son. Dad needs a W here. So you gotta let Dad have it, okay? They're gonna let me out of here one of these days. I'm gonna stop cleaning dishes. You gotta give me a win here. <laughs> Brennan, give me next week's winning Powerball numbers. Eight. Eight. All eights. Just all eights. Do all eights. It's all eights. It's gonna be all eights. Just do all eights. I don't know if you, if you can do all eights for Powerball. Do all eights. It's gonna be all eights. 888, 888. It's all eights, baby. It's gonna be all eights. Five dollars. That's gambling money. We got it. You know what? I'm confident. It's gonna be a W. I was confident that it wasn't gonna be a W. It's- it's- I'm literally just sitting in a cardboard box washing dishes like what happened to you, Brendan? <laughs> Gamba. <laughs> Clean the dishes nice, good style. Clean the dishes nice, good style. Why can't you drink from the sink after emptying the dishwasher? True, actually. Why can't I drink from the sink? Are they mad if I leave the dishes wet because it, it, it moistens them? It moistens the hole? Is that what's up? Is that the lore? The lore of the game is going to be they really are mad about me moistening the hole if I let the dishes stay wet when I put them down in the hole? Oh, Brendan, 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 Brendan. You can't moisten the hole. Like, why? Why are you so mad about me moistening the hole, huh? Does it upset you? Or are you upset if I moisten the hole? Yeah, washing dishes in the back rooms. Erosion? True. But if I put enough moist plates down there, inevitably it'll happen. I'm a good boy. I don't gamble. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power. I won't gamble. I'm a good boy. I'm cleaning the dishes. They're nice and squeaky clean, see? I won once. You only won once. Yeah, but I won once. Can't believe I'm alone on this hill. Yeah, see, there's one person in chat trying to stop me from gambling. Oop. Nope, I'm leaving. I start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Brennan, what's your opinion on the McDonald's filet of fish sandwich? Zero. Realistically? Zero. I have a zero opinion. The, the filet of fish, dude? Uh, it's like, no. I have zero opinion on the filet of fish. Not a positive one, not a negative one. It's definitely the, uh, the, the, it's definitely slime. It's edible slime. I mean, to be fair... No, I don't have anything good to say about the filet of fish Thank you for your opinion on the McDonald's filet of fish sandwich. What is this, like a corporate survey? Here, on 100 bits. Thank you for talking about the filet of fish or What's your opinion on the Burger King menu? If I wanted to eat at Burger King, I could have the same experience going out in the backyard and just scraping my teeth against tree bark. Monsters want me, fish fear me. Monsters love me, dish fear me. Me win, I fish. Fish win, I me. Me when I fish, and then fish when I me, fish when I me, and then men win 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 me fish, fish when I me, and then make a fish dish. Let me just get that on there. Let me just get that on there. There we go. Today's oops, sorry, a little slippery today. Ooh, sorry about this. A little slippery. Uh, it's, it's, it's very fresh. It's very fresh. Oop, sorry, dropped your fish on the floor, sir. Let me pick that up for you. Welcome to my restaurant. Hello. Hey, damn it, son of a bitch. It's a slippery little guy. All right, let me just fucking... One second. My plate is upside down, I think. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, now we can plate this son of a bitch. There we are. Ah, for you. Ah, the stinkiest of fish. For you. Would you like some? Here. Oh, shit. Sorry about this. Let me just... Let me just pick that back up again. It's a slippery little guy. Here for you. For the whole. A dish. A dish to be wished for. A fish. And a plate. Enjoy, hole! Oh. Fish came back. Oh. The hole did not want the fish. Alright. Brendan, I signed you up for Gordon Ramsay's show. What are you making him for a three-course meal? Uh, peanut butter jelly sandwich. Uh, and then French toast. And then to top it all off, um, well beefington, which is beef wellington backwards, just to fuck with him. What is this? Uh, this is well beefington, sir. It's beef on the outside, bread on the inside. What do you mean, well beefington? Ridiculous! Nah, try it, sir. 
Bread on the inside, beef on the outside. Bread on the inside, beef on the outside. Well, Beefington, try it. I would go shopping into the back rooms for free groceries. I would like, I think if I could stay in any of the back room variants, I think I'd like with the, um, the arcade a lot. Now, living there forever, that would suck, but I think I'd like the arcade variant a lot. Where it's just like, yeah, endless arcade, snacks, chips, games, chilling, popcorn chicken all the time. DDR all day, every day. Maybe a little bit of that wet, warm smell. How many miles of wire make up your complex, Brendan? I don't know. I never counted. Am counted. I never counted. I have a mouth and I must scream is actually my book, so. Uh, yeah, I have a mouth and yeah, I will scream, actually. Watch this. See? Check that out. What if you walked into the Fortnite fart back room? Oh, you mean like the Fortnite funny book that was actually published where it's just got a bunch of Fortnite characters farting and instead of making fart noise, the fart noises that are on there, it says like parp. You ever seen that? I, I always, I fucking, I hate that book. I hate, I hate that book existing. Fortnite harp. There it is right there. See? Can I make this my, I wish I could make this my, uh, <laughs> Make this my background of the game. <laughs> Ew, I'd rather be stuck in the storm than stuck smelling this fart. Erm, has anyone seen my glider? Nope, this is gonna hurt. Honestly, if there was a movie, you know the movie Cube? They should make another cube, but it's just like, oh God, we entered this cube. What do you have to do inside of this cube? You have to be a retail cashier. Oh God. Oh, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. What is this one? Oh no, it's even worse, why? You're working in a nursing home. Oh! Brendan made a sequel. I know there's like five cube movies. I know this. I'm saying wh make a new cube sequel. But it's just people having to work like customer service jobs. I know they have multiple cube movies, don't they? Don't they have like four? They make like four cube. Ain't they got like four cube? Apparently the most recent Doctor Strange comic has a guy who went crazy for being in a cube. Yeah, that literally me right now. And that goes in there. And I get money, okay. Process is automated now, sick. We have an automatic money maker. This makes the money for us, cool. Maybe not a billions of dollars, but definitely an amount of money. Cookie, buy the bed. Dishes tycoon, baby. Dishes Roblox zombie. Dishes tycoon. What the fuck, the fucking, oh my God, the hotel. Where, who? Whose hotel is this? Me when I'm at the Hotel Holiday Inn? Hopefully the walls don't come alive and try to fucking eat me. I like this place. Actually, you know what's fucked up is this reminds me of the uh, motel my grandparents lived in. I'm not upset at buildings like this, really. I. Huh. Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. Ready your room at the Hotel California. Find a bowl of gold. Then get really bold. Sliming out in the subway. I saw a shimmering guy Covered up himself in gold paint And then he told me a lie That's me when I don't know the lyrics to Hotel California, but I actually do. I'm just making them up as I go. Johnny at the Hotel Hotel Holiday Inn. My mom used to work at a hotel inn, did you know that? My mom used to be a hotel manager at a Holiday Inn. She actually met Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio when she worked there, uh, and got signed posters from them. Uh, but then uh, they just got lost. But it was really cool, she always talks about it. Let's see if I can get another big, uh, big one. Let's see if I can get a big one. Can I get a big one? 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 I'm listening. I'm fishing. Give me the big one. Give me the big one. Come on, Marge. Give me the big one. Give me the big one, Marge. Come on, Marge. Give me the big one. Here we go. What I get? The big one? There we go. A big one. What is Brendan's opinion on Mr. Bungle? Ah, uh, bungled again? Is that a guy who, like, runs around town and yells, Ah, bungled again. Oh, you got me, damn it. Ooh, you tricked me and you fooled me and you bungled me again. Gambling or improving the process? Gambling or improving the process? Interesting. No, I find joy in fishing now. I no longer gamble. <laughs> Somebody fucking walks up to me. I'm at, like, a lake and I'm fishing. I'm throwing on my line. Woo! And then a helicopter touches down on the other side of the lake and a man walks up to me in a suit with a briefcase. Brendan, we need you. I don't do that anymore. I quit, remember? I'm all about fishing now. Brendan, they're building the world's largest casino. We need you to gamble. You gonna give me any money? No, but we need you to go in there and win the big prize. Is it worth it? Is it worth winning the big prize like this? Will I be able to go in and win the big prize? We're we gonna have to walk outside and do menial tasks all around the town again? Yep, just like before. 
do it again. But I'm fishing. I'm improving the process. I can't possibly gamble. Brendan, we need you. You're the best we've got. Gamble until you can't gamble anymore. It's not a casino heist. It's just... <laughs> I'm not talking about a heist, right? I'm not talking about a heist. I'm talking about going to the... <laughs> Here, Brendan. This will get you started. 50 chips. Go to the casino and gamble for me. Absolutely. It's not even a casino heist. I'm just talking about, like, what if they set it up like a casino heist, but it's just a guy who goes in there and gambles? <laughs> All right. John, you hit the slot machine. Me? I'm going to go back and hit the roulette table. Sean, you go over there, and you uh, you play blackjack. Uh, when, when does the heist start? Heist? What? Gamble. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big... Oh. Gamble. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh. Gamble. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh. Gamble. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh. Escalator, 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 escalator. Eels! This reminded me of when you played slots in Pokemon for an hour to get enough points for a Porygon. <laughs> that is true, I did do that, didn't I? Oh shit. A terrible dish business, man. I would never survive in a real hard working, day to day, fast paced dishwashing environment. Not in these crazy times. Not in this crazy world. Shopping with my friends. Getting stuck in the pillar and it never ends. Waiting for Brendan to go through his goth phase as a 30 year old man? No, but we, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get really fit and then have a goth photo shoot, so. I'm gonna go behind the backs of like 50 different gas stations and take pictures of me dressed up like an uh, emo goth scene kid stuff. <laughs> just the back of a gas station smoking different kinds of fake cigarettes. No, I'm just making that up. I could do that if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to. Letting the days go by, let the water hold me under the blue again after the money's gone. I was in a lifetime. I was hoeing under the same as it ever was. What's your favorite episode of SpongeBob, Brendan? Oh, God, that's a tough one, ain't it? What's my favorite episode of SpongeBob? Interesting. Probably ripped his pants? That's the first one I can think of, so. No. Hash slinging slasher. Because it's got Nosferatu in there. It's a Nosferatu! The hash slinging, the slash slinging. I mean, pretty much anything from like SpongeBob season one and two is like, here we go, I'm done, I'm ready, I'm set. Like, babe, I'm sorry, that's the bit. Those are like just, all of them are my favorites. I don't know if there is a bad episode. Um, there probably is, but I can't think of a bad episode within that. The trash streaming, stop it. I'm cleaning dishes, bitch. Look at this. This is how we do it. I'm a boss babe. I, Mimi, I'm a boss babe, and I be boss babing all over this place. Mimi, I'm indulging a little in a little boss babing. Or you should eat fruit, eat fruit, eat fruit, eat fruit, eat fruit. Awesome. Yeah, I should absolutely eat fruit. I haven't found any fruit. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to fucking find some fruit. I'm running out of. I'm running out of brin brinsane. I'm 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 I'm, I'm going brinsane in the membrane. I'm going brinsane. I'll figure it out. Cool. Basic plate. We don't care. Fruit. This will do. Nice. A little bit of fruit in my life. A little bit of scurvy out of my life. A little bit of fruit more in my life. A little bit of scurvy out of my life. Arrgh! That's my favorite part of that song, by the way, is Mama Number 5, where he goes, Arrgh! I like that part. Where he goes, Arrgh! I don't really care for the other parts of the song, but I love the part where he goes, Arrgh! That's like the best part of the song, I am all. A lot of people will be like, yeah, it's the singing, yeah, it's the names. Yeah, I get it, but I like it where he goes, Arr! I'm gambling again. You know, a lot of gamblers stop right before they win a big, right? Just like me. I'm not gonna, I'm, we're going to the casino. What was that? What was that? Was that, was that two plates? Was that a win? Was that a W? It should have been, th that should have count. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, that was one normal and two silver. I got tricked. Ah, uh, I see. We're gambling again. Sorry, we're sitting in front of the penny slots all day. Oh, all my money gone. Gone. Now I have to just I have to just look into the hole. I will have enough money for gamble. You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to stop gambling. You got to know when to gamble and know when to ramble. You got to know when to slop them. 
know when to stop them, know when to bop them, and then know when to crop them when I'm talking about pictures in Photoshop. Smithers, hand over my big bucket of pennies. Uh, Mr. Burns, it's, you've spent a lot of money today on the uh, slot machine. Do you think it's really worthless? Smithers, I know when to stop. I'll tell you when I know when I know when to stop. Oh, yes, Mr. Burns, of course. Here, your big bucket of pennies. Ah, yes. Excellent. Now, Mr. Burns, are you going to put all these pennies in there? Maybe one at a time, Smithers, but hear that jangle. Excellent. Smithers, more pennies. Smithers, pennies. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Burns. Smithers, more pennies now. Smithers, 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 read me today's Garfield. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns, the fat, lovely cat, uh, the, the orange cat, uh, Garfield, he is uh, sitting on his bed. Excellent. What is he doing, Smithers? Uh, well, Mr. Burns, he's, uh, it seems as though he is, uh, he's yawning. Excellent. Tell me about the next panel, Smithers. Well, uh, it looks like the speech bubble that was encompassing the yawn, Mr. Burns, uh, looks like it popped. Excellent. Uh, what about the third panel? The third panel is uh, another speech bubble above Garfield's head as he looks at us, the reader, and he says, it's a living. Excellent. That uh, Jim Davis is a genius. Hire him and then fire him, Smithers. Uh, yes, Mr. Burns. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns. Garfield is, uh, fucking and sucking in the new issue. Excellent. My money came through. Finally, a commission for me. Montgomery Burns. Uh, Smithers? Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns. Uh, commission an artist to draw Homer Simpson. Uh, deflated. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns. I'll get right on that. Mr. Burns, uh, I think you're running out of money. Smithers? Uh, more pennies. <laughs> Brendan, I kid you not, the moment you said that, my game made a foghorn SFX. <laughs> what the fuck? Smithers, commission a Twitch artist to make one of my emotes Mr. Burns Pog face. I uh, guess, Mr. Burns, I'll get on that right away. Yeah. Excellent. Burns Pog face. I can see it now. Smithers, why does that baby have a gun? Smithers, tie yourself up on the railroad tracks for me. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns. Smithers, penis and poopness. Writing them down in your daily journal, Mr. Burns. Uh, penis and poopness. Excellent. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Okay. Yes, I listened to the robot. Wash me dishes, boy. Boy, wash me dishes. Wash them. Yes, sir. I think it'd be great if I could order a cardboard cutout of this game where it's just wash me dishes, boy. And he's just like a- he's just like a little guy and he looks sad. And then there's a big guy who's really gruff who's wash me dishes man. And they both yell at me to wash the dishes. That'd be great, actually. I think it'd be great if there was a 20 foot tall, really, really strong guy with huge muscles and he was staring at me while I washed the dishes. He was like, hey, you washing those dishes? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm working on it, buddy. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. It's like, good. Please don't scare me with a bunch of silly creatures. I don't want to see those funny creatures around here. Please don't grab me with really long fingers and then try to rip me open inside. I don't want to see any guys with real blood inside their eyes screaming at me. I don't want to see any guys with no body, just a disembodied hand, disembodied hand. I don't want to see anything scary, I just want to find some really cool slime. I don't want to see or find something hairy that may in fact grab me, then rip me apart. I want to grab me dishes and slime. I want to get me dishes all the time. I don't want scrap. No, I don't want thing. I just want lemon and maybe a cup. I gotta find me a couple of cool thing. Gonna grab it and then put it in my box. Please don't send any scary creatures after me because they are very scary and I might in fact pee. Please don't try to eat me. No, please don't try to kill me. I'm just a little dude out here in the dungeon. Having a great day, having a good time. Please don't try to kill me. Please don't try to make me rhyme. Anything in here? Cup. Enemy cup spotted. Enemy cup destroyed. Me when I grab me a couple of tiny thing. Couple of small thing. And then I fucking leave. Me when I use all of this money to gamble. My wife, she then leaves me. And now I'm alone. Damn, bitch. It really do be as be like that. 
It's one that's really my favorite thing about quitting vaping, honestly, is like my fucking uh my pipes are back, babe. I keep telling you, I was fucking loud before. Imagine me with no like hurt lung. I'm literally like a record, baby. I got a groove. Okay, for true now, for true now, last one, last one, I promise. Oh one sec, I gotta do my prayer chant. One second, I gotta Hopefully, hopefully that work. Maybe that work. Yeah, well. <laughs> win, 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 win. Damn it, son of a bitch, it didn't work. All right. <laughs> now, Ave Maria was pretty good. Yeah, I can do a good Ave Maria. I can do it better if I like. See? What happens when you jump down the hole? It's blocked. They blocked it. They don't let me they don't let me jump down the hole. They put a man shield there. A shield that man the man. They, they won't let me down there! They're telling me I can't go down into the hole! They're telling me I'm not allowed down in there! They're telling me, ooh, you can't jump down into the hole, you're gonna get hurt. Ooh, you can't jump down into the hole, you're gonna sprain your ankle. I wanna go down into the hole! I wanna be hole bound! What if I undertail? Ah, I'm angry. I'm a settled man. Let me in the hole, you son of a bitch. Nice jacket. Yeah, actually, so this jacket is super nice. It was one of the first things um, that my mom got for me, like, in high school. Um, that, like, th this is the first, this jacket means a lot to me. Because growing up, um, like, this was the first time that my mom ever, like, genuinely thought about something that I was really interested in. Because, like, as a kid... You know, with all the with all the problems uh, that we had, like going into high school, living with my mom for the first time for an extended period of time, and her being clean, it was like the first time I remember her being like interested in what I like, right? Interested in the things that I like. Um, and she got me this. She found it at Goodwill. She didn't buy it in my size. She just found it at Goodwill. And was like, oh, Brendan would like this. And it's the first time that I remember her being like, hey, I'm just out and about. Let me get something nice for Brendan. Right? Because, like, growing up poor and, like, uh, growing up that way, I, there are sure, I'm sure there are other times there have to be, but this is, like, the first memory I have of that. Because shit was uh, usually bad back then. So this, this jacket I will keep forever. I just will. I think it was either high school or, like, maybe it was college, but I think it was high school. She's found it, like, at the Goodwill and was thinking of me, and so I'll keep this forever. I'll never get rid of it. Even if it's ripped apart, even if it's destroyed. And it's a nice jacket, too. It's just a Zelda track jacket. I don't even really... I like Breath of the Wild, but I didn't even really care about Zelda then. He's not getting any taller. Hey, I'm 6'5". Stop that. Rude as hell. That's it. I'm middle parting my hair now. That's it. You did this. I'm middle parting my hair now. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. That's it, idiot. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by, dude. <laughs> It looks so wrong, don't it? Oh, it's cursed. I changed my yeah. identity immediately. It's yeah. horrible. I swapped it up. I became a different person. Where'd Brendan go? <laughs> Just like a baby. Brendan, I'm back. How many dishes have you watched? It better be a funny number. I don't know. I've gambled it all away. Where do we go? Where are we now? Where do we go? Where are we now? There we go. We're out of here. Fuck you. Fuck you, bricks. Fuck you, maze. Want somebody to be like the Kool-Aid man and pop out of there like, oh yeah! Fish, 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 fish. I don't know why I'm saying that like Bill Nye the Science Guy. Come on, buddy. You know you want to give me a fish. Fish, 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 fish. Welcome to the fish channel. All fish, all day. Welcome to Fishtopia. There's only fish, all fish, all day.